What's going on YouTube? It's Alvin the Director. I'm back again with another video. All right, so the time has finally come. The history test. All right, so check it. Last week, we kind of talked about, you know, me studying for the history test. And, you know, that's the reason why I really haven't been posting a lot of videos a lot. Um, we've just been like crazy, crazy busy this past week. So, you know, in yesterday's video, I talked about phasing up to white phase, which we did on Friday, which was, you know, insane. Um, but, you know, everybody here at OCS talks about this crazy history test. I mean, if you look at reviews online, if you talk to anyone that's gone to OCS, they all tell you about this beast. And yeah, it, it was a beast. <laughs> So um, I promised I would talk about it and let you know exactly how the history test was. So here it goes. All right, so there's not really, I'll just go ahead and throw it out there. There's not really much that you can do to prepare for the history test before OCS. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there because things that you might be studying is not gonna be um, exactly how, um, you know, the professors here teach the, the history test. So like their um, teaching style is a little bit different. Um, you're gonna learn everything in the United States from the Revolutionary War up until today. So you're gonna be covering a lot of material and you're gonna have about, I don't know, maybe six or seven days or so of basically learning everything. So kind of imagine learning like an entire semester full of material in six or seven days. Not saying that to stress you out, but that's just the amount of content that goes into it. Like you're gonna be learning a lot. So, you know, it's not, it's not hard. Well, it's kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie, but it's not impossible. So we have about 145 people in our company right now. Um, and only about, I think 19 or 20 failed the, the history test. Um, and they're able to retake the history test on tomorrow. So, you know, if you fail the history test, you still have a second shot. And it gives you, well, we had a week from the, the time that we took our test till the retest. I don't know if that's how it's gonna be for every company, but you're gonna have, you know, some time to, to learn like the material if you do have to retest. But if you look at those numbers, um, it, you have a, a high chance of actually passing the, the history test on a first time um, basis. So. Um, the company before us, nobody, nobody failed the history test after, after the retest. So they had a 100% pass rate for history. So, I mean, that just kind of shows you like, yeah, the history test is kind of hard, but like, it's not impossible. So like, don't stress out about it too, too much, because if you stress out, then you might not perform as well, you know, when it comes to test day. So, um, the professors, they're going to come in like on day one, they're going to give you a, an outline of exactly how you know the class is going to be broken down so you're going to know ahead of time what to study what reading um, material to read what powerpoint slides to look at and another cool thing that i like about um the professors here that come and teach the history um test is they give every candidate um a chance to to brief a, a section of history so by familiarizing yourself with your particular event when it's time to present to the class you already know, um, you know, going into the test exactly what your specific topic is going to be. So you're going to answer that question on the test, um, you know, perfect, you know, as soon as, you know, it's test day. So it kind of helps you um, learn the information a little better. Um, so uh, a trick uh, to, to learning your material is whenever, you know, you give given your assigned topic, I would get with your squad, teach your squad first um, your topic and then have them teach you their topics, you know, in return. So in a squad, you have like eight people. So those are eight things that you're gonna know on the test going into it. If your squad kind of breaks it down to you and helps you um, helps you learn, you know, what every their topic was. Um, in class, like take good notes. So we had eight sections. Um, and so I guess that was actually eight days of history because every day we'd learned a new subject. So eight days of history. Um, and so, Whenever, like before class, like you're, you're, like I said, you're given a reading list, you're given everything. So you, you're supposed to prepare before you even get to class. So you're supposed to read the PowerPoint slides, read the uh, material before every, when you get there. So whenever you get there in class, like you kind of know what they're going to be teaching that day. And um, you kind of have an upper hand, you know, when it comes to like taking notes. So everything is kind of like a refresher to you. And you're able to like take the time out to ask questions and everything. Um, 
Don't worry about, you know, falling asleep in class. Like, we were able to get coffee. Um, we had coffee outside the classroom, so we were able to stay awake during our breaks for coffee. The history um, professor, he gives you a lot of breaks, like, during class to, like, use the restroom, um, go outside, get some fresh air, stretch, do what you gotta do, so you can just be on your A game the entire time that he's teaching. Um, and, like, they do a really good job at, like, answering questions and stuff like that. So what I did was I had a group of about four people um, that, you know, are pretty smart candidates. And, like, we created a Google Docs. And with that Google Docs, we were all able to simultaneously take notes at the same time during class. So if I missed something, like, I knew for a fact that they were going to write it down. Um, and, you know, and vice versa. So we were able to kind of build on each other's notes throughout class and so that really really helped us so after class and afternoons you're given plenty of time by your cadre to study um and so we just looked over everything we looked over all the notes um and we kind of talked about it and um that really helped us a lot um you know retain that material because not only did we prepare before the class but we also had each other's help um after class to um kind of go over go over everything that we you know learned in class we also conducted study groups so in our study groups were about um, 10 to uh, 12 people um, each night. Um, we busted out everything. Um, we just sat in a room, we studied um, everything that we learned in the class. And there were a couple people, there's always gonna be people in your platoon who are just like history geniuses. So they're able to like break everything down to you and like really like explain it on like a, literally a third grade level. So if I didn't have them, I probably wouldn't have been able to, to pass the history exam. Um, and then you're also given, like I said, a, a lot of time to, to study in the afternoons for that for that test. So whenever it comes time for the test, everything is going to be um, familiar to you. Um, so you have multiple choice on the on the test. You have true and false. You have a couple like timelines. So familiarize yourself with times, dates, and names um, in history. Um, take great notes in class. Um, I can't stress that enough. Um, don't fall asleep. Um, I, I didn't see anybody falling asleep in history because like, you know, it's just that big. Like everyone takes it serious. So if you want something bad enough, you're going to stay awake. So, you know, get some good sleep the night before if you're the type of person who uh, might fall asleep. But, you know, it's just something you got to do. Um, and take it serious. You know, if you have any questions, ask questions. Again, the professors, they're real good at answering any questions. Um, they go over everything right before class. They talk about the day before. So if you have any questions during your studies, you have the chance before class to even, um, you know, to sort anything out. If you have any questions, they're, they're able to answer right before class starts and kind of give you a refresher before they go ahead and get into the lesson. Um, so they're really, really good about that. Um, other than that, you know, the test day, you know, it's like a regular test. Um, I don't think I can tell you how many questions were on the test. Um, it was just like any other test you're gonna take at OCS. So, um, you know, if you're at OCS right now, that kind of gives you an idea of how many questions are gonna be on the test. It's not bad at all. You're given plenty of time to complete the test. Everybody finished before the timeline was over. Um, we're given like an hour and a half, I think. So everybody finished before then. So it's not like you're gonna be in there all day. Um, and then you just kind of, you just do it, you know? And we're given our results and you know, I was able to pass, so you know, I was pumped about that. That was the last thing that I had to do at OCS as far as graded assignments. So, you know, I'm pumped about that. You know, I'm getting ready to commission in about 10 days, actually nine days. So like, I'm, I'm pumped right now. Like, I'm really pumped, you know? Everything is basically done. We have our grad run this week. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. You know, I'm ready to just go ahead and knock this thing out and, you know, get ready for Bullock. Um, other than that, you know, that's really it about the history test. You know, if you have any questions about anything related to history, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Shoot me a DM at Alvin the Director. You can follow me on Snapchat at Who is Chipmunk. You can follow me on Twitter at Who is Chipmunk. I'm Alvin the Director, and I'm out.